So what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dark Magician Duelist and I'm coming at you guys today with a discussion video. I just saw this online. I heard about it this afternoon. Apparently we now have a rumored deck list for the Legendary Dragon decks that Konami is going to put out maybe supposedly later this year. So I have not seen much about this until today, actually. I know that Konami likes to do like this collector type thing this time of year near the Christmas season where they like to put out like older decks like they did with Yugi's Legendary decks and then Legendary decks too. So I'm really excited to see what they have in this set here that we're about to take a look at. But yeah, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the new legacy support that Konami's finna drop for us this year. Alright, so let's scroll down here. We've got Deck A, Yugi's Dragons of Atlantis deck. Alright, so as for the card list, it seems we have three Dark Magicians, two Magicians Robe, the Apprentice Malusion Magician, which was going to get its reprint in this set, uh, Magician's Rod, we got that skilled dark magician, the legendary knights, and just some other magician stuff like dark magician girl, and seems we have absolute crusader, is that what that says? Yeah, crusader. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the monsters that kind of stand up, stand out rather. But then we have a lot of the Dark Magician spells that are really, really expensive. And we get the Magician's Navigation as well. So those got reprinted again. So that's really cool. And we've got Old School, like Thousand Knives and stuff like that. And we got Pot of Dualities. And they give us an extra deck. So sweet. Awesome. So we get the Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, one Dark Paladin, one Amulet Dragon, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, Mirror Force Dragon, and all that kind of stuff. So... This is a pretty good structure deck. Like, it's pretty decent for, you know, I don't know what the retail price on this is, but that looks pretty cool. I mean, it's a pretty much a finished Dark Magician deck. All right, so let's scroll down here. Okay, and we have the Zane's Cyber Dragon deck. Okay, so this is pretty cool too, and hopefully if Konami's generous enough, they'll have some Infinity reprints too, along with the Nova. But you get, you know, all the staples and Cyber Dragons, like Core and Zway and Dry and all the stuff you need. And I see Cyber Repair Plants, Power Bonds, which is really good. Um, then they give us, oh, another Quaking Mirror Force reprint. Storming, too. That was a good little reprint there. I mean, yeah, it looks really decent. I guess it depends on what the extra deck looks like. Now let's scroll on down to that extra deck. Alright, so we've got, for the extra deck, we've got one Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, two Rampage Dragons, that's pretty good, uh, then two Cyber Twin Dragon, they give you Cyber End, Double Nova, and Infinity, so that's not bad at all. Yeah, you're really getting your bang for your buck here. Okay, so finally we have Yuya's deck. So... Obviously, this is a pendulum-based deck. Everybody knows Yuya is kind of the Arc Five dude, and he was kind of the protagonist. So they've got his deck in here too. Um, I wouldn't be as excited about this just because pendulums, well, aren't really what they were. But you do get some good stuff. You get an Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, which I guess that is a new uh, boss monster for them. You get an alternate art. Uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, so that's really cool, because I think that card has had, like, the same art for, like, years now. So, yeah, that's really cool. They give you Double Sky Iris, Duelist Alliance, uh, Double Terraforming, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, just, like, all the basic Skulker Bat Joker, now that that's back at three. Then, of course, we've got Sky Iris, of course, Duelist Alliance, uh... And that's pretty much it for the main deck. 
Then as far as the extra deck, we get a Dark Rebellion, an alternate art for the Dark Rebellion, a Clear Wing, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon got reprinted again, one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst, Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, Supreme King, Dark Dragon Dark Rebellion, Gatling Ghoul, Vortex Dragon, and then Starving Venom, the Supreme King. So overall, you guys, I think these are some really cool structure decks, kind of. These, unlike the other older, like, legendary decks, except for maybe last year's. Last year's was better, but I had the first one, and it just really wasn't that good. But these look like they're really well built. They look like they're something that Konami actually kind of sort of put time into. Like, they're actually playable-ish sort of decks, so I can't really complain because these look like kind of something that would be fun to play for even somebody who was kind of sort of a competitive player. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these structure decks in the comments below. I, I honestly really like especially that they reprinted like the Dark Magician cards. Even though they got their reprints in the Megatons, it's really good to keep their prices low because honestly, that deck should not, the Dark Magician deck should not be that expensive because the deck doesn't really do anything in the meta. So it was just so expensive for so long just because it was a legacy deck and no one really played it because it just didn't do much. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about these structure decks in the comments below. Leave me a like, do me a favor and subscribe. Your boy is out.